So if you have not been living under the table, you would already know ChatGPT and the new Microsoft Bing. Microsoft just announced that for the first time in history, Bing has crossed 100 million active users. So much so that Gmail's creator Paul Buhe said that ChatGPT might be the reason for Google's downfall. And to that, Google now has an answer. We have exclusive access to the experimental Google AI chatbot, Bard. We'll get to that in a moment. So in all hurry, Google finally released a trailer video of its AI working, where it can summarize your Gmail threads, creates an entire presentation for you automatically from a document. But that's coming at the end of the year. As of now, we only have this Google AI chatbot, Bard. Now, two things which I noticed initially. First of all, when you enter a query, see side by side, Google's Bard is very fast. Bing still takes time and it shows. Number two, whenever you get a response from Google's chatbot, you go up, it has a small toggle called view other drafts and it already has two more drafts for the same answer for you. So if you find the response too long, there is a shorter version, then there is another version with a different tone. But more than that, the question is, who's better? Like let's ask both of them to write a 2000 words summary on the political history of India between 1960 to 1990. Again, if you see Google Bart is just fast and it gives a nice summary like starting with Jawaharlal Nehru's death, we had the emergency, 1990 was economic liberalization, seems pretty accurate. And with Bing, now Bing has three modes, creative, balance and precise. We'll leave it to balance because that's the default mode and what most of the people would use. And wow, this is surprising. It straight up denies giving a summary and provide links to Wikipedia. I mean source of all information. That's clearly Bard 1, mm. Bing 0. I'm impressed with Bard. Now let's go up a level and make it difficult and a bit creative. Write a YouTube short script about best AI websites in Eminem style. Make sure it ends with like, share and subscribe. And now with Bing? Wow. Editor, we would actually need rap music. Let's go. Yo, it's your boy AI here to tell you about some websites that will make you fly. First up is OpenAI, it's got GPT-3 and Codex that will make you say I. <laughs> so if you're looking for the best AI websites around, these are the ones that won't let you down. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Subscribe to TechWise. Google does a good job, like the content is decent. It just writes yo and peace at the end, which makes it a wrap. So clearly Bing is the winner here. It does a fabulous job. Bard one, Bing one. Now let's take this to the most difficult level. Write an HTML code to open 100 YouTube tabs with a button click. Now with Bard, you just copy paste this code and now when I click the button, nothing happens. Now let's see if Bard can solve its own error in the code. The code doesn't work, nothing happens on button click. It just says it gives more reasons but doesn't address the proper coding problem so it's like a fail. Now if we do the same with Bing, here's the code, copy paste, works like a charm. I shouldn't have clicked it, it opens 100 tabs now. Now of course, coding is not so simple, like you also get changes in the code. So let's see if Bing can make the changes in code. So with Bing, we'll ask it now to open 10 tabs on button two click and so on till button 10. Done. Works like a charm. That's clearly Bard 1, Bing 2. Now here's the deal. Microsoft is moving at a crazy pace. Like Microsoft just integrated DALI 2 in Bing. So now here is Bing image creator where you can actually ask it to create any image that you want. Suppose create an image of a person using 5G phone near 5G cell tower. And see, these images are usable. Imagine the time when you image search on Google and you can't just find the right image. Here on Bing, you can just ask it to create the entire image if it doesn't exist. And remember at the start Bing's daily 100 million active users? Well, Google has 1 billion daily active users and this is just 1% of it, so long way to go. So overall, what is the conclusion? Who will win? Well, if you think Google is done, ah, Google is dead, chat GPT will kill it. Well, Bard runs on a language called Lambda. Now you don't need to learn the entire language. In simple words, previously, when you need to Google something, suppose internet is not working three to four years back, you have to actually put internet not working Windows laptop or else the search results would be crazy. But post 2021, you could actually search on Google why internet doesn't work on my Windows laptop and it would still understand your problem and show you the best results. This was done because of Lambda, which could understand how humans speak and have conversations with them. So it would be foolish to say Google wasn't prepared for this. By the way, as of now, Google Bard is only available to a limited number of people in the US and UK. Now, overall, the point is, no matter how much we or anyone on the internet says, no one actually knows who will win. 
As of now, Bing and ChatGPT is better than Google. But here's the bigger picture. Google has these two products which are the most revenue making and both of them serve ads. So any AI services or whatever Google makes has to serve ads or lead you to website which has ads. For sure. Whereas the top Microsoft products are Office products, 365, Azure cloud services. So whatever AI integration has to happen, has to happen in these products to make them more beneficial or useful. Or just create altogether new product which again brings in more subscription. As of now, AI is everywhere in every app that you hear. Every day you hear some new launches. For sure, it is going to kill some jobs, create new jobs. It's very confusing right now. But the AI war is on and only time will tell. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. We tried to push this video very fast. So if you have watched it here, like this video. See you pretty soon and hold on.